Today is all about bringing our elementary school's scientists together. We have uh, rooms filled of science projects from a variety of our elementary schools across the county. Go. Other than our show boards, we have students participating in engineering design tasks. We have the scavenger hunts that students may participate in, going to each room, reading and looking at all of our different science boards to see other things that may interest them. I think it's really cool because I really, like, I worked really hard on it and I'm just really proud that I can have it in this big area where everyone can see it. I learned how, how volcano explosions or eruptions affect humans and the area around it. Oh, I'm very proud of her. She puts in a lot of work on her project and it's just amazing to let everyone see her shine. Because she's doing a lot of research, research results and some more things in action and she's just becoming a well developed student. This year we are combining it with our K-12 STEM showcase, so we have lots going on. On our third floor we'll have a lot of our STEM projects on display, as well as many schools showing robotics and demonstrating different components of the robotics programs. It's really important that people within the community who don't necessarily have all the resources at their local schools sees really what's possible um, for students in Pinellas County to be able to achieve uh, through robotics and STEM. Um, at Palm Harbor, we have a, we're fortunate to have a really large amount of support for our robotics club. We have over 60 members and uh, five different teams and robots. And we want to be able to come here to the community and show off our robots and what's possible and to really help other people within the community maybe spark up their own robotics clubs in their schools. This is Rosie. She is our, she is our recycling robot. We built her because we realized that in our school, even though we have recycling bins, it's not, nobody uses them because it's not very active. Because nobody's like, oh, ew, recycling, ew, trash can, ew, paper. But we decided to build Rosie because then people would be like, oh, cute robot, oh, yay, recycling. Rosie is made of all recycled materials. Her box is a recycled refrigerator box. The Roomba on the bottom, she actually has a little remote right here, and I can make her go wherever she wants. I want our parents to see what's going on in our schools. This will be a great display of what is happening in our schools across the county, as well as maybe possible uh, careers for their students in the futures, maybe um, some of the programs that are available in our middle and high schools. So we really want them to, this is a display of all the hard work that our students have been doing. And of course the parent and guardian um, support is a huge part of that. 